but microbes are all around us. They live on your skin, in your gut, in your mouth, in the soil. They recycle waste and help plants. In short, they make the world go round. What would happen if all microbes instantly vanished from our planet? Here's the good news. All microbial diseases would vanish. If all microbes were removed from Earth, all viruses, bacteria, fungi, germs or bugs, then naturally all infectious diseases would vanish. This may seem like the best thing to ever happen to humans, but it's not. Most nutrients would stop being made or cycled. Life depends upon the constant cycling and recycling of the basic elements of life. A plant, for example, survives through photosynthesis. It requires hydrogen, oxygen, sunlight, nitrogen, etc., which are taken from the environment and recycled back into Earth. And guess who controls and speeds along all of these processes? Microbes. A loss of all microbes would be a terrible news for living organisms that can't create or take in these nutrients by themselves. Waste would accumulate indefinitely. If there aren't any microbes to break down complex stuff, all of this is going to build up. Human and animal waste is broken down by bacteria and cycled back into the earth. With nothing to break those materials down, the build-up would mess with ecosystems and biochemistry worldwide. All plants would die. Plants are reliant upon bacteria to survive. If they don't have microbes to convert important chemical compounds, they'll rapidly lose the ability to produce through photosynthesis and will quickly die. All ruminant animals would starve. Ruminant animals like cows, sheep and goats can't digest cellulose in plants. They rely on gut microbes to break down cellulose. No microbes means that their digestion won't take place. They will also have no plants to eat. Life would eventually die out. Humans and other life would survive in the short term, but eventually we would die. We humans are innovative and we come up with solutions in the face of difficulties. If plants don't get nitrogen, we can fix it by giving fertilizers, but a lot of this will lead to rapid global warming. This will affect our oceans too. Coming to a conclusion, we'd survive for a period of time without microbes, but not for too long. That's it for today's video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you still haven't.